So what about those business owners' rights? What about residents' rights? Those who freely recognize we live in a country where you're free to protest. But are you free to trample on others who just want to get by? To Congressman Robert Bittinger, uh, Republican of the state of North Carolina. Congressman, um, there was a lot of looting going on. There was a lot of targeting of businesses going on. So where do you separate the right to protest with the right of others who just want to live? Yeah, Neil, very good question. Really, it begs the question today, where's the spirit of Martin Luther King? <clears throat> we cherish his legacy. We honor him every uh, Wednesday, I mean, every, every uh, February of every year uh, because this man had a great concern for our country. He had a great concern for the African American people. And he, he did go to the streets. He did demonstrate peacefully. And I, I, frankly, where are the leaders today? <clears throat> Where's our president? Where's the, uh, uh, you know, the leaders and the pastors and others? There should be 20 or 30 uh, African American leaders out on the streets today calling for calm, calling for peaceful demonstration. Uh, we're, I, I'm, I'm really saddened uh, with the lack of that type of leadership. Now, obviously, they brought in the National Guard, Congressman, to deal uh, with tonight, hopefully not have a repeat performance of last night. Um, it, it seemed to me when hearing from local authorities, we were talking to the press a little while ago, that local authorities kind of call uh, the commands here. The National Guard helps out. But um, what is the order of order here, if you will? I mean, who is in charge of keeping the peace tonight? Well, uh, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department are in charge of keeping the police, and the, the state will play a supportive role. But uh, frankly, I think we all see the anger. We all see the, the animus from these individuals. And this didn't start two nights ago. Uh, this is 50 years of failed policy uh, toward the um, minorities in this country. Uh, began with the Great Society. The Great Society has turned into the disenfranchised society. And these people are angry, they're mad. Look at our economic growth today, we're 1.3 percent. 15 million people are underemployed or unemployed. Uh, look at the birth rate in the African American but community, But to be fair, Congressman, there are many poor areas and areas of high youth unemployment, particularly African American youth unemployment, and they don't go to this extreme. So yeah. isn't that sort of like a, a dismissal of, of poor people that they're going to riot? Well, I think in the case, when you, when you listen to them, and I did last night for about three and a half hours, and I heard their, their, their reactions, and they're angry, and they're mad. And I think what this did, uh, the shooting just kind of lit it up, and what's quelling inside. Uh, yes, it is contained, but there is deep concern. Uh, we hear it, frankly, in the Financial Services Committee hearing all the time There's about the racial disparity in this country. So you can't separate it. You can't right. say, well, it's not pervasive around the country. The failed policies of this administration have left these people outside of the loop. Failed educational systems. Uh, we have to have an economic uh, system that brings people in, that builds uh, jobs. Uh, there's such a restriction on job growth today. They can't even get a good job. That's what I'm begging the question on. You oh. know, the failed policies have, have contributed to it. Well, we've had, through Democratic and Republican presidents alike, we've had poverty, unfortunately. Uh, Congressman, thank you very much. Very good having you.